hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to the house of dolls today we've got this glamorous trendsetter girl to review she is very early 2000s and i'm living for it so i've already got skate park cutie i think that's her name so now i finally have trendsetter so i've got the little set of two um lol surprise omg of course and we're gonna do an unboxing review on this gorgeous girl today and yeah if you're not subscribed please subscribe to my channel i love doing doll reviews it's my passion it's my hobby and i'm obsessed with dolls so yeah anyways without further ado let's get unboxing this beautiful girl Okay, so normally I open it up from the top, but I decided I'm gonna open it from the bottom and look at this little picture. Okay, that is cute as heck. So we're gonna have to take a look at this afterwards. Watch me not be able to take her out from the bottom. <laughs> Dude, why are these always so stuck in? you think after all this time I would figure out how to open up these boxes but they also have like so many different box styles so don't judge me oh my gosh she's stuck she does not want to come out I don't even know what is attached still okay I'm gonna have to open it from the top because I'm not having good luck all right, after like 10 minutes of trying to get her out, she's finally out of the plastic. What a nightmare. All right, so this is her out of the box, but still attached. I love the pink plush carpet and this little like, I don't even know. It's almost like she's standing on a table with a carpet on it, but I know I'm wrong. This pink background. If you guys don't know already, my favorite color ever is pink, and I also love like baby, baby blue and baby pink together. Look at that. So cute. Okay, so now you see how she looks and how her whole packaging looks. Let me put my phone back on the tripod, and we're gonna cut her out of this package. Okay. I should probably get my other scissors because these ones are a B word. Just saying. I really love the fit. I wish my dog is literally being crazy right now. I really love her fit and I wish I had a human sized version of this outfit minus the hat. Okay, I think that I got everything unattached. I think it's just her head now. So let's pop that baby off. She looks like she's about to do ballet. Okay. So she is an Aquarius. Fun. Now we can just get all these out of here. You guys, I literally have so many videos to edit right now. It's extremely overwhelming. I just film, 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 film. I have so many videos filmed, but it's the editing part that really slows me down and I wish I had an editor because I would be pumping out like a new video every day. However, I'm just really slow with editing. It's not my strong point. I'm not the best with technology, unfortunately. Okay, so this is her little packaging setting. She's got this like adorable pink glow-up chair and I kid you not, I had the same looking chair when I was younger except it was like a purpley pink and it had a bunch of little um, like sequin Hello Kitty holographic heads inside. It was Hello Kitty, obviously. 
and it was really cute. The blow up furniture was a vibe back in the day, but look at that pink and purple chandelier. So I guess if you play with it, you're probably supposed to take off this part, but I haven't done my research because I don't usually use these packages for anything, but it's so cute. I feel like I would make my house look like this. Okay, so now that the difficult part is over with, let's start with our accessories. So firstly, she comes with this little light baby pink hairbrush. And then we're gonna open up this one first. I love the trunk design. It looks very Louis Vuitton, except it is LOL style. I really hate like ripping open these packages because they're so cute. Oh, and her accessories slay. Okay, so her first accessory are these see-through orange sunglasses with the little pearl white detailing around the edges. And I think that's a little tiny broken heart, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, these are pretty cool. I like. And then, ooh, 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 I love these. Look at these earrings. Like, this is just a throwback for me. I'm a 90s baby, so I'm really, really liking this doll. So they're like little heart outline silver earrings with a solid silver heart in the middle and a little crown inside the heart. I love them and I would also wear these because they're very old school. And then look at this cute little cell phone. It's a flip phone. I am so old that I owned multiple flip phones in my day. They were really fun, especially when you got to slam it shut to hang up the phone. Okay, I'm just trying to get it to focus, but there's like the front screen and then the little buttons, and then there's a broken heart on it. It also has a little clip, which you can use this to put it on her hand, but also some phones had a clip on the back, so. And then look at that, what does it say? It says, LOL OMG meet up at skate park tonight. Tonight. And then it says something in exit. I can't even read. Well, I think it says options. My eyesight is not good. I love that. That's such a cute little detail. She's definitely gonna be holding her phone when I display her. Okay, next up we have her shoes. So this is what they're gonna look like, six and a half as usual. And then here they are. So they're these little white closed toe heels with pink around the bottom and then like a little, almost like a crown sort of princessy design at the back. Her little BB boutique bag. Okay, this purse is a fire purse. I love it. I love the little printed detail on it. These look like tiny little crowns as well with the white bow in the front. She's got the silver chain strap. And then she's got a little opening so you could actually put her phone inside which is kind of cool that is an adorable purse i love this all right and last but not least look at this bag this is a an adorable little clothing bag um look at all the old school y2k details on it i love it this just reminds me of my childhood and i wish i could go back so let's see what kind of outfit she comes with. Okay. All right, so she's got this baby blue plaid checkered skirt with like pink and like a periwinkle blue color as well with these little satin sides and little silver buckles. 
This skirt is so cute. I actually used to have one like this, except it was pink. Very Mean Girls style. All right, and then here's her doll stand. It is a hot pink color. Very, very fashionable and very 90s, 2000s because pink was a hot color back then. And then I also forgot about these little things that they came with. So this looks like a poster. It says trendsetter, fashion finder, setting trends, meeting everyone, making friends, on the go, send me a text, I'll put you in the know. So she's very cute. My brother's playing a video game and I'm sorry if you just hear him yelling because <laughs> that's how guys play video games apparently. Um, and then this looks like a cork board. Oh, this is so cute. So she's got like some color shades. She's got a picture of her shoes, all this cute little stuff. And I really want to get this doll that's pictured there. I've been eyeing her up on the LOL website. One day she will be mine. Also, we got to look at her little magazine. So she's an Aquarius. BFF, good news is coming. Don't be surprised if you are on the front page, January 20th to February 18th. Are any of you guys Aquariuses? I'm a Scorpio. I think there's only one Scorpio doll, but I don't have her, unfortunately. I will get her one day. Uh, this is a BFF journal. What's your star sign? And then that's the back and the butterflies on it are really cute. All right, so now that we looked at all her accessories, let's focus on Trendsetter herself. So we'll start with her hair. I think I'm gonna take this hat off, but you guys can just see how the hat looks as it is because I'm not a fan. It's like really puffy. It kind of looks like a marshmallow or something. So I'm actually gonna take that off and then we can start checking out her hair and then going over her entire fit. So that is her hat. This is the last time you're seeing it on her, BRB. All right, so when I pulled her hat off, it literally went like poof and all this like white fluff flew out, but it's got like this little uh, plastic piece inside of it to hold its form, but this is just gonna go in my bin of accessories and she's not gonna wear a hat. However, now her hair is a little bit messed up and dented, so I'm gonna have to restyle her hair because yeah, like this dent is not giving. But anyways, so let's start with her hair and then we'll move on to everything else. She's got this little bang in the front as well as down here. They are stiff as a board, as you can see. <laughs> like, she probably has the worst hair out of all my LOL dolls. Especially because of the hat and it making these dents on it, but she's fixable. So her hair is a combination of this very goldeny blonde color along with this chocolate brown. So she just has these big chunky highlights throughout her hair and this was definitely the style back in the day. I admit I had hair like this when I was in high school. Looking back, not such a fan, but it was the hot thing at the time. So she's definitely on point with that. All she's missing is like a poof because everyone had a poof too. So her eyebrows are like a soft light brown color. I love her skin tone. She has like the most beautiful like sun-kissed skin tone. I love it. And then her eyes are this beautiful, almost like a periwinkle light blue shade. And then she has the shimmery light blue eyeshadow and then like a darker blue underneath her lash line. She's got an adorable little beauty mark here. Her lips are are like this um, shimmery soft pink color. That was also in style, uh, all the like shimmery icy lip colors. And then her blush is like a very soft, subtle, like rose colored blush. 
And then we can take a look at her hands. So she's got this soft bubblegum pink nail polish and then stiletto nails, of course. And they look great on her skin tone. And then we can take a look at her outfit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put her accessories on and then we will go over her entire outfit afterwards. I was struggling putting her shoes on, so I just did it off camera, but let's check out these earrings in her ears. <gasps> They're so pretty. I love them. They look so good. Like they look so good with this fit. And then I put her little cell phone in her hand and then her shoes are on as well. I'm not a huge fan of the shoes. I think they could have done something cuter, but that's okay. So she's got this little crop top jacket on, sweater type thing. It's got this silver zipper. Half of it is light blue and then half of it is light pink. I love how they added the little tiny drawstrings and then on her pants as well around the edge is like a silver a silver edging pattern thingy and then she's got a hood and it's a full hood which i like i hate when they have like a half hood and then you can't actually put it on their heads so that's really cute if i fix her hair i might try putting her her hood on too and then she's got matching truck pants and they have like a little silver pattern or design right here and then they have the silver design around the sides as well and then these little like faux pocket detailing things and then she doesn't have any pockets on her butt but that was definitely something that a lot of track pants had back in the day as well so yeah that is her entire fit number one and then we can like toss her bag on here as well super cute and then if you want to see what her sunglasses look like on because we always got to check out the glasses that's how they look they're very low but she could totally like wear them on her head too maybe nope maybe not her head's too crusty. All right, so yeah, this is outfit number one. Very cute, I love it. Now I'm gonna get her changed. I'm gonna take this part off and then we're gonna swap out the pants for the skirt and see how that looks. BRB. Alright you guys, so this is her outfit number two. Now the shoes really make sense with this outfit. I think they look super cute, so I take back what I said. I think that they were a good choice. So she has this adorable little skirt. It is so cute. And then the top, the top is really cute too. It almost looks like there's like little blueberries or some type of fruit or flower on them. They could be flowers. Kind of hard to tell but either way it's very cute and then the little blue satin bow and then the blue satin straps as well i love the stitching and the design of the shirt as well it's very very pretty um i feel like it doesn't match the skirt as much as i'd like it to however it does look good and it looks great with the first outfit so we'll go with it um and then this is the skirt 
I like this outfit a lot as well. I don't know which one I'm gonna display her in. Probably the tracksuit, but this is definitely, definitely a cute look. Also, I'm really sad because I tried to pose her with the phone like to her ear. However, her arms and her wrists are really loose. So I can't really pose her too well, unfortunately, but that's okay. It will be fine. As long as I can fix her hair, I will be very, very happy. Like, look at this. I can't even bend. I can't even bend her bangs. There we go. They're very, very hairsprayed. But yeah guys, that is my review on LOL OMG's Trendsetter doll. Um, do you guys have her? Are you gonna be buying her? I know she's been out for a while, so I'm sure if you are a collector or you do have these dolls, you probably have her already, but I'm late to the party, so I'm catching up on a ton of different dolls and brands, so we're getting there slowly. My collection is growing and I'm very, very happy about it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you again for all your support. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It helps a lot. And I will see you all in the next video. Love you guys so much and have an amazing day. Mwah!